Hi guys, this is Preeti and you are watching Medley Solution. In this video, I will be teaching the, you the upper end of the humerus, which consists of all these parts. Head, neck, greater tubercle, lesser tubercle and in between those two, intertubercle or circus or bicepital group. As you can see in this image, this is the head, this is the neck. Here only anatomical neck is mentioned. Actually, there will be three neck, anatomical neck, morphological neck and surgical neck. This is the surgical neck below the greater tubercle and lesser tubercle. And this is a greater tubercle which is a lateral most part and the lesser tubercle which will be present in front uh, in the anterior side. And this is a lateral lip, this is a medial lip in between those two, bicipital groove is there. Here bicipital groove is there in between those two. Uh, here you can see the impression for SITS muzzle, uh, impression for supraspinatus, SITS SIT, SIT, SIT muzzle. Uh, the other S will be present in in on the lesser tubercle that is subscapularis uh, on the greater tubercle from above to below impression for supraspinatus, intraspinatus and teres minor mm, I'll be explaining uh, the head head is a round smooth part it forms half of the spear as you can see if you take the complete circumference of the spear it forms only half of the spear less than half of the spear and then it is directed medially as you can see it is directed medially it articulates with a glenoid cavity of the scapula it articulates with a glenoid cavity of the uh, scapula as you can see this is a glenoid cavity and it articulates the head of the humerus articulates uh, with this to form a shoulder joint and it is uh, surrounded by the hyaline cartilage and forms the shoulder joint or gleno humeral joint glenoid cavity and then humerus head so gleno humeral joint uh, this is about head. Head is a smooth and rounded. It forms less than half of the spear. It is directed medially. It is for uh, it is covered by the hyaline cartilage. Uh, with a, it uh, forms a uh, joint cavity with a it forms uh, joint with a glenoid cavity uh, to form shoulder joint or it is also known as gleno uh, gleno humeral joint. And neck. If you have to speak about the neck, there are three types of neck, like three necks in humerus. And it is it is also the viva question during your practical exam. Uh, there are three uh, three types of necks or three necks for humerus. That is anatomical neck, morphological neck, and surgical neck. We we will discuss about each of these necks now. Anatomical neck, anatomical neck, anatomical neck. This is a short uh, constriction near the margin, as you can see here. This is anatomical neck, anatomical neck. This is a constriction at the margin of the at the margin of the round head or it uh, mm, it provides attachment for the capsular ligament it uh, completely it provides attachment to the capsular ligament except superiorly superiorly the capsular ligament uh, has a deficient for the head um, for the tendon of long head of biceps breaker muscle uh, so uh, the above part superiorly there won't be capsular ligament and below it is it continues uh, it extends below uh, one to two centimeter be, uh, near the shaft mm -hmm. to form glenoid cavity and then uh, surgical neck a surgical neck is a separate rs question also rs2 question and this is asked that is uh, for short answer this question is asked for short answer uh, short answer uh, question surgical neck and structure related to surgical neck surgical neck is this uh, here uh, below all uh, the other two, two necks the, the, there will be surgical neck uh, anatomical neck will come here and the morphological neck ap approximately here and the surgical neck will be below the, these two uh, necks surgical neck it is the most uh, uh, common site for uh, fracture because it is a weak weakest uh, point of the humerus so uh, usually fracture occurs uh, near the surgical neck surgical neck structure here related to surgical neck is also asked in, in many mc many pre pyqs and then uh, structures related are this is a surgical neck uh, posterior circumflex humeral artery and anterior circumflex humeral artery will be uh, front of this. It, it is not visible here. Anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery and axillary now. These are the structures related to the surgical neck of humerus. Uh, this is a short constriction as we discussed. This is a short constriction. This is this will be the this will be below greater tubercle and lesser tubercle. Below will be the surgical neck. And then at uh, at the upper end of the shaft, this is a shaft. 
this is upper end of the shaft and it, it is a weakest point of the humerus and it commonly fractures occurs here and structure related as we already has we have seen axillary nerve anterior and posterior circumflex humeral vessels here axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery uh, anterior circumflex humeral artery will be front of this humerus and uh, for upper end of humerus only you have to write uh, Morphologic, all these uh, structures like uh, head, neck, greater tubercle, lesser tubercle and intertubercular circus or bicipital groove. Now, morphological neck. Morphological neck, it is a junction between the epiphysis and diaphysis. As you have uh, studied in the general anatomy, epiphysis, it is uh, like uh, ends of the two, uh, long, uh, ends of the long bone, uh, two ends of the long bone. This is a long bone. It has two epiphysis, upper end, low, lower end and diaphysis. Uh, this uh, morphological neck is a junction between the epiphysis and diaphysis. This is a morphological neck, and it represents the epiphysal line in adults. Uh, and in adults, the way where there is a growth, where the grow, growth has been stopped, it represents the epiphysal line. It is a true junction between head and shaft. This is a head, and this is a shaft. Uh, true junction between the head and shaft is a morphological neck. And greater tubercle. If you have to speak about the greater tubercle. Um, Greater tubercle, it is a lateral most part. Is, you can see here, this is a greater tubercle. Uh, this is a medial side and this is a lateral side. This is a lateral most part and it provides uh, att attachment that is insertion for three muscles. Uh, you can see the, the posterior superiorly, uh, superiorly upper, middle and lower upper. So, uh, uh, supraspinatus, middle, infraspinatus and lower uh, teres minor. So, sit. Uh, you can uh, uh, remember by the mnemonic sit. S I T. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor. And if you have to speak about the lesser tubercle, it is an elevation which is present in front of the uh, front of the humerus. That is the anterior side. This is a lesser tubercle. It provides uh, in, like uh, insertion for the subscapularis muscle. You can see this is a most lateral part. And the posterior superiorly, uh, it flattened fa facet like impression. There will be three muscles attached upper, middle, and lower, upper supraspinatus, middle, infraspinatus, and then lower um, teres minor. Lesser tubercle, it is elevation in which is present in front, just above the surgical neck. This is a surgical neck, above the surgical neck, lesser tubercle is there. Uh, it provides attachment to supra subscapularis, which, which provides insertion for subs subscapularis. And the last one will be bicipital groove or intertubercular circus. It is a vertical groove. As you can see, this is a vertical groove between the um, between the greater tubercle and lesser tubercle. Greater tubercle will be present lateral most, and lesser tubercle is present in front. And then it uh, the extension forms uh, lateral lip and medial lip. Greater tubercle is extended uh, downwards as lateral lip, and uh, lesser tubercle is extended downwards as medial lip. The space between the, these two tubercle is called intertubercle sulcus or bicipital groove. Uh, bicipital groove it lodges uh, it contains two, uh, two things that is. It contains long head of biceps, uh, which is I, I said uh, before only hyaline cartilage that is uh, which forms a uh, uh, synovial uh, ligament. The, 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 uh, superior it is deficient because it encloses a, a tendon called a long a long head of a biceps uh, tendon. It encloses and yeah, here you can see. Uh, uh, anterior circumflex be beside the uh, like uh, in front of this humerus the, there will be anterior circumflex humeral artery uh, that the, that that has ascending branch which uh, which runs in this groove which is which will be present in this groove so ascending branch of anterior circumflex humeral artery and it provides uh, three uh, attachment for three muscles bicipital groove in the lateral uh, in the lateral uh, lip the pectoral major muscle will be attached and in the uh, medial lip there will be Mm, attach, there, uh, there uh, provides an attachment for um, teres major and in the groove in this groove here you can see this line bicipital groove in the in the bicipital groove there, there it provides attachment for latissimus dorsi you can remember this with the mnemonic lady between two majors um, m l l this is a lady between two majors medially teres ma major and laterally both are majors are uh, uh, lateral and medial uh, laterally pectoralis major in between uh, those two latissimus dorsi 